link. It's going to be a little small, but notice there are some telling signs. This is actually going to take me to myspace.com. And that's because the destination is decoupled from the actual label. So if you've ever been the recipient of some phishing attack where clicking a link actually takes you somewhere illegitimate, that's actually、uh, how we can do this. So if we're making this ugly, we might as well go all the way. So let's、um, actually, no, no offense. <laughs> okay. So, we have some eyes on the desktop here, but here's the problem. So, Rob's eyes are currently on my own Mac's desktop, but the appliance, of course,、uh, rather, the,、uh, my website is inside of the appliance. So, how do I get Rob's eyes into the appliance? Well, there's a couple of ways. And frankly, the easiest approach is probably just to open Firefox in the appliance and download the eyes in the right location, but you're not always going to think of that. And maybe on your own personal laptop, you've got photos and whatnot in your hard drive, and you want to upload those, so to speak, into the appliance. You can actually upload Upload files into the appliance very easily.、Um, I only have a Mac running here at the moment, but let me just demo the Mac and I'll point you toward the PC instructions. On a Mac, you can go to the Go menu. You can then say connect to server. And even though it's the CS50 appliance, as of today, turns out it's been a server all this time. Oops, I shouldn't skip over the most important detail. So notice in the window, I just have to type this the IP address of the appliance, and then this thing. This is a different protocol. It's not HTTP, it's something called Samba, which is Windows file sharing. And so SMB colon slash slash, if I hit enter here, notice in a moment it's doing connecting dot 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 dot, and voila, now I have my JHarvard home directory mounted on my Mac. And you can do the exact same thing in Windows、um, so that you have a window on your own computer connecting your computer with this, and you don't have to use something like Dropbox or other tricks.、Um, for the PC instructions, just go to manual.cs50.net and go to the appliances page for how to transfer files back and forth. But the point here is I can now open my index.html file. I can now drag Rob's eyes into this folder. I can now go back, whoops, back to the appliance itself. And let's just do a quick check. I'm going to go into public HTML, ls l. Ah,、oh, there's going to be a problem. Rob's eyes are not accessible on the internet yet, or on the appliance in this case here. So let's actually see what happens when this is the case. Let me go,、eh, we're not going to put in、uh, points for effort here. Might as well just plop it at the bottom. So let's do this image for image tag,、uh, source for the source of the image. And then I could put a URL, but if I already have the file locally, I can just say eyes.png. And now I can go over here. I can go back to my browser and reload. And unfortunately, we now see nothing. And yet, if I go up here to view page source, Rob's eyes are definitely there, at least in terms of HTML. So, how did we fix this before? Well, before we did chmod. A plus, whoops, we did chmod A plus X, which was executability, but an image is not something that's executable. It's not a directory and it's not a program. So, what do you probably want to do to, in order to see an image? Yeah, so you can kind of guess. Read, so chmod A plus R for read, eyes.png, ls, and now this too is world readable, so to speak. The R is a good thing. Let's go back to the browser, reload, and oh my gosh, that's. <laughs> Well, that's even worse than usual, but you really see the, the glint in his eye now. And that's just because I zoomed in on this page a moment ago in my browser. But we can also make this clickable. And remember, we did this really fast last time. Just because a link is normally text doesn't mean it has to be. So we can do A, href. And I apologize to Rob that it's getting creepy that I know the URL of his Facebook profile now. <laughs> Academic purposes. Um, so let's save that. And now notice we've sandwiched now an image tag inside of the open A tag and the close A tag. The href is going to go to, again, Rob Bowden's web page. If I now reload this, it doesn't look any different, but if I hover over his eye, you see that the cursor appears. If I now click on that glint in his eye, I go to Facebook where if I log in, I can now befriend Rob Bowden. So why don't we leave it on that note and we'll see you again on Wednesday. <laughs>